Hi guys, this is Crossy of Eclipse Gaming TV with a really quick update for you about parts 22 and 23, which unfortunately didn't work out quite as planned. Um, part 22, I managed to leave this Emil Heskey screen on um, for the whole time, which is a bit disappointing and probably not great viewing for you guys. And part 23 uh, ends up losing sound part way through it, so again, um, not a whole lot of use me uploading that, unfortunately. Um, so I'll give you a quick update on how it's gone in those uh, few games, and it ended up being a win and a loss, and then a win and a loss again. Um, Bristol City was a 1-0 uh, win away from home. Um, City were fifth on the table at the time. Uh, so very pleased with that and that was a goal from Robert Earnshaw surprise surprise pretty much the only player that can stick them in and um, off the back of that came a very disappointing loss um, a 3-0 loss to uh, Chesterfield which was two goalkeeping howlers really from Stuart Nelson one of them he came out headed the ball from just outside the box under no real pressure or need to do that and saw it sail over his head into the back of the net and the second one he dived for a cross which he pretty much scooped into his own net which is a bit disappointing and I know a few people have raised this about uh, the amount of goalkeeping errors that you seem to incur and it's not the first time we've seen Nelson have some howlers which is a little bit disappointing and I think it's a sign that despite patching etc since the beta some work might still need to be done there. Um, came through with a uh, very impressive game, 3-2 um, against Colchester, um, in, including two goals for Ryan Kent on loan from Liverpool. And then again against uh, Crawley, who are one spot above us in the table. Again, another disappointing 2-0 loss with some uh, defensive weaknesses uh, letting us down. Um, <laughs> which just seems to happen to us uh, again far too often this season, which is uh, disappointing. Um, so hopefully, though, from the next part, with seven games still left to play, am I counting that right? Yeah, seven league games remaining. We'll be able to do slightly better with those. Um, still, mathematically, we could finish uh, 13th in the table, but realistically we are 16 points uh, away from safety seven games left to play leaves us 21 points and i don't know what happened with some of my maths in the other parts luckily you won't uh, end up hearing that but <laughs> i thought we had seven games left to go about three games before this um so yeah clearly my brain hasn't been working as well as i would have liked with simple maths and numbers and that sort of thing but uh, never mind. Um, so that's a, a little update on how uh, things are going uh, with the team. Uh, at least we've got a few wins left on the table, if nothing else. Um, but yeah, apologies that those two parts didn't quite make it. Um, we will be back um, with normal form, I would hope, as we take on Fleetwood, who are down in the relegation mix with us. So um, points need to be taken by us in that game if we want to have any hope of uh, survival but as you can see the picture is extremely bleak going forward um, which is a little bit of a shame um, never mind though it gives us a chance to uh, build uh, for the next season whatever happens got some exciting youth prospects and some younger players in the team that can uh, develop even further that I'd like to keep hold of and um, we'll talk about that as we get to it um, as a little bit of a spoiler, I have gone and simmed through the season and had a bit of a look at what the pre-season picture is going to look like next season. Um, basically, something happened in that, which I'm guessing isn't going to happen again, which I will talk about once we get into uh, the actual post-season and see if we have the same kind of uh, situation again. Because if we don't, it's going to completely change the complexion of what I can do in, in pre-season, which is going to make it interesting. Um, let's just say that made it a little easier than I was uh, first expecting it to be. But whatever happens, whether we go up um, or stay up, sorry, or go down, um, I will be looking to rebuild and put together a, a squad that I'm happy with, as I think what I inherited at the start of the season just hasn't been good enough, largely, um, from what we've seen. Uh, but exciting times, and I think it's quite rare to see a series where it hasn't been a resounding success. It's been the complete polar opposite, in fact, and hopefully you guys have enjoyed the ride and will stick with me as we uh, look to push on into uh, Season 2 very quickly and try and finish strong in this one as well. 
Uh, but thank you very much. Apologies again for the uh, other two parts, um, not quite making it. Uh, but back to full strength for part 24. Fingers crossed, anyway. <laughs>